let us see how to convert an NFA to DFA by subset construction method. So there are two methods. The first method is a subset construction method. Second method is a lazy construction or lazy evaluation method. So first thing here is the input is the NFA. So let us consider the given NFA is represented by n equals to qn sigma delta n q0 and fn. And uh, goal is to build an equivalent uh, DFA D with uh, QD sigma delta D start state is represented Q0 within an square bracket and FD and uh, such that L of D is equal to L of N. So, means that the language accepted by DFA should be equal to the language accepted by NFA indicating that both NFA and DFA accept the same set of strings. So, the construction procedure. So, the QD is the set of equivalent DFA states which is all subsets of QM. So, which is the power set. So, if you have three states in the NFA, you will have 2 power 3 which is a 8 states which are all subsets of that Q in the NFA states. Next, sigma is the same and delta will change and the start state will be the same but within angle bracket and FD will change and FD is the set of all subsets of the NFA which contains the final state of NFA that means S intersection FN is not equal to 5 where the set of subsets of S of QN such that S intersection FN not equal to 5. It means that you will get set of states in the DFA as a subset and all those subsets which contain the final state of Fn will be the final states in the DFA. So, delta D, how to construct uh, the delta function for the equivalent DFA. So, for each subset S of Qn and for each input symbol A in sigma, so delta D of S of A is equal to delta N of P comma A for each P belongs to S. It means that if S is a set of states, then delta D of set of states on A is equal to all those, uh, uh, for all those states on the input symbol A in the NFA, find the delta and perform the union. That is the meaning of delta D. So, let us see the example. So, NFA to DFA construction, first uh, L equals to W, W ends with 0, 1. This construction of NFA we can already, we have already seen. So, if it is ends with 0, 1, so it is Q0 and 0 goes to Q1, Q1 on 1 goes to Q2 and for all other input uh, be, beginning symbols, you have a self loop in Q0 on 0, 1. So, this is the transition uh, table representation for the NFA. So, Q0 on 0 goes to either Q0 or Q1. Q0 on 1 goes to Q0. Q1 on 0, you do not have transition. It is phi on 1 go to Q2 and Q2 does not have transitions on both 0 and 1. It is phi. So, now the equivalent DFA is constructed as 0 as here. So, first one enumerate all possible subsets. So, you have three states. So, all the uh, subsets of these three states will be the states of the given DFA. So, your delta D is obtained by writing the transitions for each of the states. So, the state is phi, q0, q1, q2, individual elements and q0, q1, q0, q2, q1, q2, q0, q1, q2. These are the set of states which are the possible subsets of q0, q1 and q2. And the start state is the start state of uh, the NFA which is Q0. So, here it is the start state. And on each of the input for each of the subsets have to identify the delta D. So, for Q0 on 0, the next state was Q0, Q1. And now it was two different transitions. So, now this Q0, Q1 is a single state. So, that is why here we are representing using angled bracket. So, Q0 on 0, it is Q0, Q1 which is here as a new state. And on 1, it is Q0. Then Q1, you do not have transition. On 0, it is phi. On 1, you have Q2. Then for Q2, you find out like that. Then Q0, Q1 on 0. 
how do we find here is for the given NFA, Q0 on 0 is Q0, Q1 and Q1 on 0 is phi. So, Q0, Q1 union phi is Q0, Q1. That's why you got here. Next, for Q0, Q1 on 1 here, it is a union of Q0 and Q2, which is Q0, Q2. So, likewise, for all these remaining states also, you should identify what is the delta D for each of the state on each of the input alphabet. So, that is the determining the transitions. Next, retain only those states which are reachable from the start state. So, from start state, I can reach Q0, Q1. So, retain that. Finally, you can draw the DFA for the constructed uh, DFA. So, Q0 is the start state, Q1 is the next state and Q1, Q2 is another state. Q0 on 0 goes to Q0, Q0 on 1 goes to Q1, Q1 on 0 goes to Q1, Q2, Q1 on 1 goes to Q1 and Q1, Q2 on 0, 1 goes to the same state Q1, Q2. So, this is a machine for uh, con con DFA for this machine containing uh, 1 0 next is uh, nfa to dfa for the language l is equal to w where the leftmost symbol differs from the rightmost symbol and we have seen the construction and now the equivalent dfa and uh, Here the NFA goes like this so Q0 on A goes to Q1 and on B goes to Q2. So this is the first symbol and this is the last symbol. On these uh, because A if it starts B it should end and intermediate symbols I would have a self loop for, on Q1 for, for Q1 on AB and similarly if for Q0 on B it goes to the state Q3 and uh, if it uh, uh, the last symbol is A it goes to the final state and for the intermediate symbols it will be in the self loop. So for this NFA how do we convert it into an equivalent DFA for the start state I have an X transition on A as Q1 and uh, Q1 is a new state so add it here then for Q0 on B it is a new state Q3 so add it as Q3 and similarly find for uh, Q1 and Q3 the next state so if it is not a state uh, new already existing state. Uh, then you add it as a new state. So on B you will get Q1, Q2 which is a new state. Then for Q3 on A you will get Q3, Q4 which is a new state. So add them and similarly find the next state for Q1, Q2 and Q3, Q4. So these are already existing state. We will stop there. And to find the final state Q2 and Q4 are the final state. So whichever state contain Q2 and Q4 will become the final states here. So this is a equivalent DFA and you can write the DFA for this transition. So, this is a NFA to accept all strings containing ABA as a substring. So, ABA then for the start state on AB self loop and for the final state on AB final self loop. So, you can uh, start with one and uh, go on adding the new states whenever you get a state. So, this is the same procedure. So, now this is the next uh, NFA for AB, AB raised to N or AB raised to N. So, this again you can start from the state 1 and go on doing it until no more new states will come.